Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining me today. I'm Jenna Stauffer. We're going to start the show off today by talking about food. I can guarantee that you'll be hungry at the end of it. We're going to specifically focus on foods that heal our bodies. Now, no one human body is perfectly healthy all the time. We can all go through health issues and problems at one time or another, so it's so important to find the foods that heal our bodies, not the ones that damage. There are foods that actually act like medicine, and fortunately, they don't taste like it. Instead, they provide a healing power while giving our taste buds a special treat. Charlie, thank you for being on the show this thank morning. Thank you, Jenna. <laughs> well, it's great having you back. And now, Charlie, you're the owner of a health store and cafe, so I know that you know all about the importance of real food. And that's definitely our philosophy is about using real food and food for healing our bodies. And there's a big difference, I think, in um, the processed, packaged um, type foods that we see a lot in the grocery stores and as opposed to the real fresh food that comes from nature. Mm -hmm. And why is it so important, Charlie, to have these real foods in our body? Well, if you think of our body, think of our body like a car in a way. Mm -hmm. The food that we put into our body is the fuel that gives us the energy, um, the nourishment, the vitality that we need to live our everyday lives. And so to put the highest quality fuel into our body is of utmost importance. And mm -hmm. that fuel comes from fresh, whole fruits and vegetables, nuts and seeds, mm -hmm. um, you know, that comes really direct from nature as opposed to food that has been chemically made in a science lab. Mm -hmm. Right, that's the bad stuff. And now, Charlie, since you own this health store, I'm guessing that you always eat real food, don't you? Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I do. I've, I mean, I haven't always been that way. I made my own shift through my own health, um, my own health concerns through mm -hmm. stomach and digestive issues. That's how I was um, told by a naturopath to basically try experimenting and changing my diet. And I did a 30-day cleansing diet where I eliminated basically all the the, the processed and packaged foods that I was eating, mm -hmm. and I went strictly on to um, fresh whole foods, no sugar, no wheat, no dairy, no alcohol, very cleansing diet, mm -hmm. and completely transformed my life. I lost mm -hmm. a bunch of weight, felt so much better, mm -hmm. and that was my introduction to how food really does have an effect on how we feel, mm -hmm. and it, from down to like how much energy. We wake up tired in the morning, we have the afternoon slumps, mm -hmm. um, just headaches that we might have, just general overall like feeling of not so vital mm -hmm. um, can really be affected by the food. Mm -hmm. Now when you made that transformation Charlie is that why you started up Help Yourself Cafe? It is that from there I mm -hmm. went on this big mission I was already kind of into cooking mm -hmm. but before I was very much into traditional cooking French cuisine um, mm -hmm. lots of meat and dairy and sugar and refined flours so I went on this whole mission to um, study nutrition and health, different recipes, learning how to use different ingredients. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, that, that lasted well up until now. And then I opened the cafe yeah, four years ago. Four years ago because of that. And is the food just as good, Charlie, as it was before <laughs> in your diet? I mean, oh, does it's, it taste just as good? Oh, it's way, mm -hmm. way better because now your body, like, I mean, because it feels so much good. So not only does I mean, um, it taste good, it actually makes you feel good. And it mm -hmm. takes a little while to to break the habits of um, the sugar addiction that we have mm -hmm. and um, you know the f high fat addictions because our, our taste buds have got so accustomed to eating that way mm -hmm. but that takes a couple of weeks and then after that it's like everything tastes so much fresher so much more vibrant mm -hmm. and um, you, you don't enjoy eat, it. oh yeah I do not miss anything else mm -hmm. the other mm -hmm. way because I know that I feel I can definitely tell the difference in how I feel mm -hmm. very mm -hmm. sluggish very full Mm -hmm. um, you, now, know, you can feed it in the gut. Mm -hmm. Now you're just so much more energized. All right, Charlie, you brought in some foods with you. Now what I have in my hand, these are good foods, right? So this is these just an real. example <laughs> of the yeah, real foods. Mm -hmm. Something you find on the edge, the perimeter of the grocery store, mm -hmm. and none of this food is labeled. It doesn't have a health claim. It's just sitting quietly in the um, fresh produce aisle, which is always at the edge of the supermarkets. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then down here I just bought an example of the types of foods to really avoid. Mm -hmm. Pop tarts. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> like and really, I mean, the reason, I mean, we just, just mm -hmm. look at it. It's learning to read the labels. I mean, I don't mm -hmm. know whether you can see that there, but the, the ingredient label takes up quite a large amount of um, space on the package there. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, just glancing through it, there's high fructose corn syrup, there's sugar, there's soybeans, corn, that's all genetically modified, very high sugar. 
Mm -hmm. um, it's made with refined um, flowers. There's a, you know, it's I can it's tell that you've had this box for a long time and you've never <laughs> used it, right? No, I don't. I just use this for good, for example, oh, like for this. Example, yeah. like <laughs> you're like, don't touch it. That, yes. <laughs> you know, and they have the sort of health claims baked with real fruit, but that doesn't really make up for all the other ingredients mm -hmm. that are in it. And another thing that I have right here in my hands, it's a Lunchables. I haven't seen these in so long. But, you know, this was something that growing up in elementary school, if I was to pack my lunch or something, you know, my parents, they would throw this in because right. it was easy. But there's so many more substitutes than something like yeah, this. Yeah, I mean, I used to, I'm not going to lie, I used to love those and uh -huh. eat them. But if you look again, look at the ingredient list, there's a huge long ingredient list. And there's really nothing, nothing in there that... Um, it's very healthy. good for you, and even mm -hmm. the meat isn't really real meat, mm -hmm. and the crackers, and so, so instead of this, you'd have, you know, you could just replace it with some, you know, real organic meat. I think mm -hmm. organic is very important just because of all the hormones and the additives and the um, chemicals that have gone into raising the meat mm -hmm. and the mm -hmm. dairy. Um, so just switching it up with something that's real mm -hmm. and not mm -hmm. being processed and filled with chemicals mm -hmm. to put in a package. Mm -hmm. so you've got to ask, you know, wonder how long, you know, how it can. I mean, I've had this. I've had this for maybe over a year and a half. Uh -huh. yeah, not, you had to not, dust it off. Not refrigerated, and <laughs> not there's not an ounce of mold you can see on anything. Really? So that's pretty scary. Yeah, that is scary. That and, uh, is. and now syrup. What would be a substitute for syrup, Charlie? Well, real maple syrup. That mm -hmm. is a little bit more expensive. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's, you know, that's the other thing. A lot of people say, well, to eat healthy is very expensive. But I think you need to weigh up also the importance of like maintaining your body and your health and the mm -hmm. long-term benefits of spending a little bit more now mm -hmm. to save money later because you know, you're going to reduce the doctor's costs and mm -hmm. just illness in your body by, by eating, spending a little bit more to eat real food. And mm -hmm. there's many alternative sweeteners that are much more natural. There's a great palm sugar, um, just even real um, um, refined Organic cane sugar mm -hmm, is mm -hmm. better than something like this because this is this is only corn syrup and high fructose corn syrup with mm -hmm. colorings in, and so mm -hmm. something like that is going to be very detrimental mm -hmm. to the body because we also eat a lot of sugar in our diets, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. it's just something to be aware of and to sort of keep check of how much sugar and how much high fructose corn syrup we we consume. Mm -hmm. What we really take in. Well, Charlie, I know you have all the substitutes for these fake foods <laughs> at Help yes. Yourself Cafe. Do you have anything special going on for this month, Charlie? Well, we've got Fancy Fest coming up, obviously, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. we'll be uh, the place to come for your hangover cures. <laughs> <laughs> we have uh, all our smoothies are fantastic. We've got some great supplements to give your body a boost. Okay, good. Um, mm -hmm. And um, just generally, you know, we mm -hmm. have a great, um, great breakfast and lunch. Mm -hmm. um, we'll soon be opening for dinner to well at least till six as well. Mm -hmm. And the cat, the store, and the juice bar is open from eight till six every day. Mm -hmm. Fresh juices, smoothies. You can't beat that, Charlie. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for being back on the show this morning and for bringing these products. I won't eat it afterwards. <laughs> <or die. laughs> All right, I'm going to take thank a quick you. break right now, but I'll be right back after this. Stay with me.